what really gets me about the situation with Henry Sound's daughter is how did the first responding units get to the scene and why was she still laying on the window if she had crawled to the this is really hard for me to talk about because I have two children under the age of two right now. And she was two. Um, why would she have gotten up from tapping on the garage door where her father was, where apparently he ran inside to tell his wife, Taylor, um, that she had fallen instead of... I mean, as a parent, you would physically react to your child your child being crawling from the pavement, which is something that, I mean, from whatever vantage point was, it's something you distinctively know, or just if your baby is at, in front of you with multiple skull fractures, there's just something really sketch about that story. Why would the baby have crawled back on top of the window that she fell out of? Is what I've just had a very hard time getting out. <coughs> That's where it's really suspect to me. Now, even if you are the least incompetent parent, you know the layout of your kid's room, especially little kids. You, you know in your head as mom where everything is. And I've read the police reports, um, they're on kiwi farms. Um, and the tweets before, during, and after about windows that Greg has directly, um, I don't know. I, I, I just think that people are finally, he, he, uh, okay, let me put it this way. He has a reason to to need CCTV cameras around his house 24-7. He does it to himself. He drives himself paranoid by being a bad person because if he was a good person, I don't think he'd need CCTV cameras. And I still don't understand how, in the police report is that Kai was making dinner. Kai, Taylor, and um so the child's room was apparently perpendicular to her line of vision the door was open so I, I'm assuming she could just keep an eye on her child because her five year old son was watching a different show in the other room And then the temerity of fuck James Greg. <laughs> so I've known him for the past decade. I'm not gonna change my vernacular for him. Um, I'm not dignifying him as a person. I was tweeting. like disgusting, lucidous, sexual things as his daughter had multiple skull fractures, which could have been fatal at any point had they started hemorrhaging. He doesn't, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's never cared that he had a daughter. Um, Taylor has expressed that in, in a live stream before, actually, that she was scared, I, I mean, of, of what would have happened if he had a daughter? Um, I think the whole of the public is begging for law enforcement to do something, for the FBI to come with some tangible plan for some reason to break down the door, for the, for the feds to get those kids out of the house. And I know so many people want to see that. But let's not traumatize those kids further, is my suggestion. Anyway, so talking about events. 
and even before, I, I guess, um, I'm not on Twitter. But I, I guess um, he had been writing about things next to windows and sexual stuff. Can't make this shit up. There are probably a hundred more videos like this one. I never thought I'd be making another video about Gregory James Onision Jackson Avon Rowe. My God, I mean, there's only one more person that I know that had that many more monikers, more, many, many more. Um, but the two of you are not so dissimilar.